Happy. All right, Pat, do me a favor. Say and spell your first and last name. Patrick Lally, L-A-L-L-E-Y. And your title. Captain. Okay, tell us what happened here this morning. This morning we had a call for carbon monoxide. Uh, so we came in and evacuated the building for safety. They had symptoms through the employees, uh, similar symptoms of first-line carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, so we rural metro checked them out, or AMR checked them out, uh, cleared all the patients, but we're still concerned that there may be something. There's no CO, but maybe that there's uh, a refrigerant leak of some other kind, so we're waiting on some specialized hazardous materials meters to do uh, analysis of what may or may not have been in the building so that we can clear it and call it safe. What kind, of symptoms, did the, what kind of symptoms did uh, the employees have? Lightheaded dizziness type stuff. Okay, and if I'm a customer and I was here maybe this morning, should I be concerned? I don't think so. Uh, it seems like it may have been a problem from earlier this morning. The staff got in about 4 a.m. Uh, as the doors open and close, there's more ventilation, so I, it should not be a problem to anybody, and even the staff is fine at this point. So how long do you anticipate that this store will be closed? Depends on the hazardous materials meters and uh, what they're able to read and pick up. Anybody being taken to the hospital here? No, everybody's fine. So you said it's refrigeration? We're not sure. We're, it's not carbon monoxide, which was what the original call was for. So we're just looking into other possibilities before we can deem the property safe. Okay. What, uh, what, they had some refrigeration repairs done a few days ago, so that's just something that is a possibility. What kind of things are you guys doing right now? They're checking things out? It has just materials meters are in there, and they're, they're working on a couple different things, trying to get a hold of the contracting company that did the repairs to see what products they may or may not have used. What time were you guys called out here? Uh, it's probably been about 45 minutes. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit late. Any uh, word on injuries? Any no injuries. Nope. Everybody's better now. So, boys, you said some lightheaded dizzy. Lightheaded dizzy is, is a staff in general, which causes concerns when everyone has the same symptoms. So we were able to evacuate the building, get them some fresh air. They were evaluated by AMR, and they all signed off, as far as I know. And Those I know are... you indicated that when you're checking out this refrigerant, that it, some are more harmful than others. Again, I just, I mean, if I'm a customer and I've been in here even the last couple of days, any con should I have any concerns if I'm not feeling well? At this point, no. No, at this point, there should be no problems. It's just a question of going forward and the safety for people that are in the environment long-term, more of an employee type thing. But it doesn't even seem like that's gonna be an issue at this point. The symptoms that employees had was very similar to carbon monoxide? Yeah, lightheadedness and dizziness. That's the, the beginning symptoms of uh, carbon monoxide. Um, so that's what they thought maybe it was. Um, with it being cool last night, their furnace may have been on last night, uh, hot water tank could cause some of those symptoms. That's not the case as of this point. So I said we're just looking, before we can deem the building safe, looking at any other issues that may uh, may have come up. People start feeling those feelings at their own house, how soon they should call 911? If there's a reason to, yeah, we, you know, if it, it's more often in heating season, especially in the fall when it's the beginning of heating season. Um, obviously, sometimes it can happen with the cold or the flu also. Anything else we didn't ask? No, I think that's it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Can you just say and spell your first and last name and give me your title, please? Yeah, Patrick Lally, L-A-L-L-E-Y, Captain. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No problem. <clears throat> Okay, so I just want to fill in those of you who are uh, joining us this morning. First of all, Ali Tui here at the corner of Delaware and Chippewa, where um, Starbucks is closed at least for the morning, possibly the day. It's unclear right now, but um, there were workers here who had um, felt some symptoms similar to carbon monoxide poisoning, according to firefighters. They felt nauseous, they felt dizzy, and so as a result, um, firefighters were called, they were brought in, and no carbon monoxide poisoning was detected. They believe maybe it had something to do with a refrigerant, um, and so they're checking out a refrigerator. They're gonna have some other people come in and do some further testing to figure out whether um, something that was used to repair a refrigerator system is what caused these symptoms. But again, no reason to believe that if you were a customer in here in the last several days that you should be concerned for your health or your safety, um, according to firefighters, so that's good news. Um, but if you're trying to get your coffee here downtown, you're gonna have to pick another spot to grab it because this store is closed this location here on Delaware and Chippewa closed um, inde indefinitely for at least the day um, they couldn't give us an indication of when they think it'll be back open um, so that's the story if you're downtown and you drive by and you see that the Starbucks is closed there's firefighters inside um, that is the reason why